The stronger patents is a big piece of what we need to do to create certainty and create a more efficient protection of intellectual property. That's number one. The second thing we need to do is relook at the Alice decision, which made some areas unpatentable. An Ohio example, the Cleveland Clinic used to have a giant investment in diagnostics technology, and now, because it's unpatentable, they invest zero in diagnostics. And if you look at the diagnostics industry, it's moving to Asia because it can be patented there. So I think we need to take a look at Section 101 of what can be patented, and maybe it was inarticulate before, and maybe the Supreme Court thought that you shouldn't be able to patent things, but I don't think the Supreme Court is in the business of writing laws, they interpret the laws, and we need to maybe make the law more clear about what can be patented, because there are whole sections, not just diagnostics, but you know, software. All these things that can't be patented now, and as we have a, a race toward artificial intelligence technology, uh, there's a bunch of things that in our current Section 101 undermine America's ability to compete in artificial intelligence because you can't patent it.